Hello and welcome back in to Nate's Breaks and Unboxings. Hope you're doing well out there, staying safe and healthy wherever you may be. We are back with another non-sports card box break. I have a box of Return of Superman trading cards from 1993. As, you can, as you've probably seen in my last couple videos, I've been kind of delving into the non-sports cards realm, as I said, and looking at some of my old... Uh, found some old comic book trading cards and have been looking into that stuff at now um, with baseball cards and that's pretty much all I collected sports wise uh, getting up there in price just kind of seeing what else is out there and I'm a comic book geek I collected comic books for a long long time was at the comic book shop weekly I still have most of them I collect action figures you name it superheroes are kind of my other one of my other kind of hobbies and Superman has been my favorite superhero since I was a little kid. I have pictures of me in Superman costumes from when I was really 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 little. So I um, was on eBay and found this. I think I paid 14 bucks for this. It's 36 packs, eight cards per pack. Now the reason it was so cheap, I mean you could probably get this for about 20, 25 bucks normally is because the seal had worn off. Um, I don't know if it was the way it was stored, whatever, but it, he advertised it as unopened, or as opened, not not factory sealed, so he knocked the price down. Um, and I, I messaged him, I said, so are all the cards, you know, all the packs are intact and all that stuff. He said, yes, it's just that the, the factory seal was broken. And so, I mean, you can see that the boxes were, I mean, these, these are from 1993. These are 30 years old. So they're bound to be maybe in a little, not the greatest shape, uh, but we're going to get into this. This might be a little bit longer of a video because like I said, there's 36 packs in here, um, but we're going to get into it and hope for the best. <laughs> um, Return of Superman, you know, mullet Superman. When he came back, he had the mullet because, you know, it was 93 and that was the thing. Uh, that was a fashion at the time. So we've got a hundred regularly numbered cards. Uh, cards chronicle the exciting Superman saga from his death to the reign of Superman to be to the revelation of the one true Man of Steel premium UV coated. Maybe they'll stick. I don't know. Four foil enhanced bonus cards. Each card is original art of the one true Superman drawn by a different Superman creative team. The four foil cards share a common background and together form a five by seven puzzle. Interesting. Uh, there were ten thousand cases. Each case is sealed in number. So I don't know how many boxes were in a case. Um, but it tells you that they did limit the number that was made. So like I said, I'm really, this box is just like falling apart. Um, I'm, oh, and there's even bugs in here. That's awesome. Super. Uh, we've got, there's nine times four should be 36. So there's nine, nine. Nine, nine, and um, more than nine-legged friend that's dead, and who knows how long he's been dead. Yuck! I'm just gonna go ahead and put that box in the trash. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna just get into these. Um, like I said, I'm hoping for the best. Um, these thirty-six packs were. Half of I paid half of what you pay for a blaster for these 36 packs, so it's still a pretty good deal. Um, so very cool. That's the Hunter of the Night card. That's the Eradicator. Um, hero versus hero. Prince of the City. Now I'll probably be penny sleeving most of these from the ashes. Okay. And so all these cards um, have, you know, I'm, they're from the various stories. Um, that's a cool one. And so, but yeah, I'll be penny sleeving all of these, kind of looking them over really closely to see about quality and um, the shape they're in and potential grading. Um, for these because these would all be PC cards for me. They're staying with me because like I said, I'm a big Superman collector. So far, the, the condition seems to be okay. This is like the 
there was a foil cover comic of this one that I actually had. So it's like metallic foil. It's the very cool. Nice. Lois and Clark. So this would be one I would consider getting graded if the card itself is in great enough shape. Interesting. That's a cool hero restored. And now Clark Kent. That's another cool one. I like that. And with, oh, they're all cool. That's like a reign of the Superman. That's all the, the four. Oh, well, there's Superboy, Eradicator, Supergirl, Superman, Steel, Green Lantern. Because this also, what a lot of people tend to forget is with that storyline of the return of Superman, this is actually, and if you're, I'm going to go full, top, full tilt comic week here, this is the story where Hal Jordan begins his descent and becomes a bad guy. Green Lantern, Hal Jordan. Uh, because as part of this, a Cyborg Superman, well, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, Cyborg Superman is the bad guy, and he destroys Coast City, the city where Green Lantern is from. So, it's a little sticking, I see, the villain. These are just fun cards. I gotta get quicker about this. I'm actually gonna do a few packs at a time. I'm curious about the centering on these because like I said, I potentially, if I like some of them enough, might be considered getting some of them graded. <clears throat> um, so I may need to see about getting like a thing. I know that they make little centering tools that tell you how cards are centered and that sort of thing. So let's see here. That's another cool picture. And you got the Eradicator in the series that's Eradicator jumps in the way saving Superman's life oh, that's cool cyborg Superman and fighting steel and Superboy don't call me Superboy another Really cool super, super boy. This little set is sticking a little bit. Still not as bad as some cards I've seen folks open. I don't... Uh, Guy Gardner and the Eradicator. I think Steel was probably my favorite of these guys. Just because he was a man that was inspired by Superman and took up the mantle. And he's still around. Oh, that's another cool one. That's super cool. These are all, man, this is a great set. I'll have to see if I was able to put the whole thing together. Steel again, just missing his shield. It's super wild, well, man. That's another cool one. Dang. Hope I get duplicates of some of these because that Superboy one the centering looked a little off. So But again, this was the nineties, and so I don't know what quality control was like back in those days. I mean, we're in the heart. If you're looking at sports cards, like baseball cards, you're right in <clears throat> junk wax era. I think we just got to see a back of a special one right there. Um, and so they're they're pumping out. And granted, the box said that there were, what was it, like 100,000 of these made or something like that? I'd have to double check on them. Not really wanting to touch that box. Um, 
but we know that there was a certain number of these made, so you're not looking at millions like some of those baseball cards, but I have another box coming up of cards from the 90s that I was able to get a decent deal on on eBay. Um, more DC, because I'm a DC guy. I, I had Marvel cards, but I was more of a DC guy, even in my collecting days. My action figures are most certainly DC comics, but even in my comic book reading days, I did read Marvel, but um, it was primarily more DC than Marvel. So we got some sticking going on back there. Mongol. Okay, he worked with, he was working with Cyborg Superman. Gosh, some of these cards are so cool. Is that Dan Jurgens? I think that is Dan Jurgens. An artist. Because at the time there were, <coughs> excuse me, four title, Superman titles in the, you know, so each week there was a new Superman book. You had Superman, Superman in Action Comics, Superman the Man of Steel, and I think it was Adventures of Superman. And each one of the um, four fill-ins for Superman, you know, Cyborg, Eradicator, Superboy, Steel, um, had their own title. Obviously, Man of Steel was Superman, Man of Steel was Steel's title. Don't remember the others, so forgive me. See here, we got a foil coming up. So we are getting some duplicates, I notice. So let's see here. That's cool. That's Dan Jurgens for sure. Can't tell. I think there's a crease at the top. I don't know if you can see that there. And there's a little ding on the side. That's too bad. I'll be keeping that in my PC, though, so I won't bother getting that one graded because I know it would grade poorly. I'll just put it in a top loader and go from there. So Supergirl. I appreciate you bearing with me pulling these apart. Superman, that's cool. Bill Clinton look alike, and there's the uh, destruction of Co of Coast City. <clears throat> cool shot. Superboy and Supergirl meeting. Um, another piece of that interesting story: Supergirl wasn't actually Kryptonian at the time; she was another. She was called Matrix. She was like a shape-shifting alien and embraced the Supergirl identity because Supergirl had been killed in Crisis and Infinite Earths back in the early 80s. Back in the 80s, maybe not early. So we're seeing a little collation similarity there too, because I feel like three or four of those cards were together previously. Let me know which one, what you're liking from this. If there's anything sticking out, it's not the you know this is before the or just before the comic book cards started getting all super fancy and. Um, stuff like that so they're still relatively basic cards but they're they're sharp looking I'm gonna finish the first half here like I said this is gonna be a little bit longer of a video I don't know why I'm flipping these over this time around but whatever
been fun looking for and looking at older cards, these cards from back when I was a kid, I have to admit. Like I said, 14 bucks is a good deal. Even with the dinged up gold <clears throat> card, I'll, you know, it's okay. Okay, this stack is definitely sticking together more. All right, so yeah, we're getting into some of the same cards here. Definitely, so there may be an opportunity for some. <clears throat> if I want to get some graded multiple options to consider. This one's got a little bit light, you know, rough corner. Still a cool card. I really like that one. <clears throat> yep, definitely seeing some collation similarities. I say, I, oh man, I like that one. I like that one. I like, yeah, this one centering is not awesome. But yeah, they're just so cool. Doomsday lives. That was the one who killed Superman. There is a set of the Death of Superman cards. Haven't pulled the trigger on a box of those yet because the price is, well, is definitely, it's higher than the return. Um, and I haven't been comfortable pulling that trigger. It's not as high nearly, I mean, Marvel cards are way more expensive. I'm just not even going to beat around the bush on that one. Um, yeah, Marvel is definitely on the more expensive side, but they're still... The, so the Death of Superman cards are not nearly there in terms of price points. Um, but it's still, like I said, not quite where I want to be for paying for it. Ooh, checklist, first checklist. That's a cool one. I haven't seen that one yet. Oh, man, I feel like I'm butchering these cards when I try to take them apart. Oh, that's, yeah. I'm always critical of folks as they're kind of opening cards on their pages and YouTube channels, and I need to remember that <laughs> you do what you can with what you got. And sometimes you got to be a little more rough just to get them apart. You can't be super gentle. Approaching 20 minutes here. it, but hopefully that should be coming back in the next week or two. Two or three, maybe. Um, and that'll be a fun one, because it's... My first one was all Anthony Rizzo cards, all Anthony Rizzo PC cards. Uh, this particular grading submission is going to be a little bit more diverse. Um, ooh. This one looks to be centered better. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. 
So what are you guys doing this weekend? I am actually, it's, I'm filming this on Thursday, September 14th. I'm off today and tomorrow for work. I had a training thing last weekend. So I had to work over the weekend and so I got two extra days off this week. Woo! So that's how I'm able to get this done. Some of these guys. Dan Jurgens, he's the artist. I think he was writing the main Superman title as I kill that card. Um, I just love his artist art style. It's so clean and Do you guys have a, anybody out there have a, in the comments? Leave me alone. Leave me a comment as to what your favorite like non sports card set from back in the day was. Would love to get your thoughts and know what your favorites were. I know that that box said that there was like four inserts. I wonder if you get one per box or if it, you're supposed to get all four in a box. <clears throat> find out said I was watching a video yesterday of a guy opening a different DC product <clears throat> actually the one that I'll be opening hopefully soon so I don't want to say what it was but it was supposed to have two or three inserts in the box and he didn't get any which was kind of a drag Let's see here. No guarantee of of no guaranteed number of bonus cards per box. Limited edition full hand or approximately 136. Okay. So I got my limited edition card. It was dinged. And had a print defect, but when you got 30-year-old cards, what can you do? what I can do to massage the imperfection. I don't know if that's even doable. I don't want to ruin it anymore. Yeah, so... But they, when they stick like this, you can get rough corners. And I see there's a few in here that may be a little on the rough side. I'm going to go ahead and just start a second stack. I know that's from Man of Steel. I can just tell from that art style. I can't remember who the artist was. It's also interesting to see how the, like this, you don't see the mullet on him, but here you do. Again, different artists. And there's the mullet, well, it's not there either. Interesting. Checklists. Hmm. It's kind of an 
iconic shot too. Super, oh yeah, there's that one. One with Bill Clinton. I did not, I did not inhale. I'll leave that comment there. Okay, I need to probably pay <laughs> talk to you guys instead of just sitting here quietly. Unless you like that. I'm sick of me talking. <clears throat> hey, it's been nice having the day off. I can't tell you the last time I had a day, like a special day off or an, that wasn't the weekend or an extra day, I guess I'll say. I wasn't a little stressed. I had a period, a couple, some time in July that I had off, but that was because I was, thought I was going to be making a job change that ended up not panning out. Um, promises were made by the new employer that ended up not happening. Luckily, my other job that I had left, very, that I wasn't looking to leave, frankly, welcome to me back. I'm grateful for that. I'd scroll through these quicker, but the way they stick, it's just kind of makes it a little more difficult. I don't think we've seen that one. I don't know why that Bill Clinton picture just makes me giggle. Yeah. Ooh, that's, yeah, we've seen that one though. I keep seeing them like, oh, that's cool. It's like, oh yeah, we've already seen that one though too. Flippy flips. That one looks good too. Yep, definitely seen some of these collations before. I have to go through. It's going to be interesting to see if I actually got the whole pull the whole set here. I've also discovered here recently that because I was looking for modern, like current DC collectible cards and. Um, Marvel's got like Fleer Ultra, Upper Deck, also, you know, different brands of current Marvel Comics cards you can get. But I was looking for DC stuff, and there's really not anything. What they have, it's called HRO. I, I have a video up that I just did this last week of some of those cards. They're digital, like, they're hybrids. So you get not only not only do you get the physical card, but there's like a digital, you scan the um, QR code on the back of the card and you get a digital copy and you can like turn them into NFTs. I'm, they're cool looking, but I'm still kind of on the fence because they're more, they're kind of on the expensive side in my opinion. I'm sure that has to do with the NFT aspect of it, but I don't know. I'm still un undecided. They're fun, but I don't know how much more I'll be getting. All right, last stack. And like I said, if I don't finish this whole set, these boxes are super affordable. I think, like I said, I paid 14 bucks for this one. And you can get other, you know, sealed boxes for like 20, maybe a little bit more. So that's definitely a reasonable price. 
considering they're 30 year old cards. I'll be looking, like I said, looking at these real close. That one is so just kind of iconic. All right, almost done. Thanks for sticking with me. you have if you haven't hit the thumb up please do leave a comment all that good youtube stuff all right that does it that's our stack let's hit our highlight our kind of gold foil like as you can see they've got a little rough edge there and then the top there's a kind of a little crease or fold or something um we'll see what i can do about maybe fixing this up or something to make it so that it would be worth grading. I don't know. It's just a cool card. That's a Dan Jurgens. Yep. Dan Jurgens Brett breeding. Just you can see, yeah, I can tell his art style. It's just very cool. All right. Let me know what you think. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, yeah. Hope you're staying safe and healthy wherever you are. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, we'll be back soon with another opening. And without further ado, I'll just say be good to each other, be kind to each other, care for each other, and love each other. And we'll see you next time here at Nate's Breaks and Unboxings. Take care, everybody.